Hey there, it's Brittany, and I'm back with a really quick bead haul from Michaels. I mean, really quick, there's like five things. So um, they had a 60% off sale. I usually don't go to Michaels or Joann's that often, for especially for beads, but I saw that there was a sale, so I went in. Um, this is Larvakite. So this is Labradorite, but it's Larvakite's like black Labradorite, and I thought these were cool. I don't have this shape. I don't have a lot of Larvakite, Larvakite anyway. And then um, I think this was 50% off. It's a cute little Hamsa with um, chakra uh, stones on it. And then I thought these were just, I probably have these to be honest because I just think they're so cool. They're like little orbs. They're just called glass beads, but I thought they were really cool. They don't, they're like blue and purple and they're not round, but they're not rondelles, just super cool. I got these because I want to make some pride bracelets for some of my friends. I thought those were really cool. And I got two strands of these because I you just don't really see quatrefoils or that clover shape in um, crystals that often. And it's such a pretty color. So it's um, like a peachy taupe with a nice AB. And actually, I think I'm going to do a project with the last strand of beads I got, which um, are these... Uh, ceramic ohm beads so I thought these would be really pretty together with some gold if you're part of my bead group you would have seen that I made some um, bracelets for my niece using these um, ball letter beads I've never seen the ball shape like the round shape I've only ever seen like the flat letters so I had a big bag of these I think it was like $7.99 but I used a coupon on them and then I hit the clearance section and saw that they had some of these um, testers paints. So I use testers um, sealants for some of my polymer clay stuff and uh, these are called acrylic wood stains and they were on sale from almost seven dollars down to two dollars. So I got, um, what color is this? Black wash, olive green wash, and mahogany wash and I have so many wood beads that I want to test these out on and I thought for two dollars you can't go wrong. So um, eventually we'll probably see a video of me doing something with these and then last but not least i have to move the camera i just got this um was also on clearance is my new um seed bead holder so i had a smaller one before that was just like one row and it, it didn't of, of course it's not holding all my seed beads but these are the ones that i want out so i can use i use them as spacers i don't bead weave um because i don't have the patience and i think that's because i have so much other stuff going on <laughs> like if i didn't have a day job maybe i could bead weave but <laughs> the brain power isn't there so i just kind of put all the colors that i thought i might want really quickly at hand and don't have to go searching for like i have a whole drawer i have actually two drawers of seed beads one um with my check and one that are just regular seed beads. And I just thought these colors would be the ones that I would go for first, especially like the gold that I just got. And I really love these um, Picasso Mayukis. So that's what I tend to go for if I'm using a seed bead. So thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for Gold Issues Super Cute. Let me know what you thought and what your favorite item was. And oh, that um, seed bead thing was on sale for $10 down from like $26. That's why I got it. And, um, please like subscribe and share, and I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.